Locomotion Vault, the extra mile in analyzing VR locomotion techniques by Di Luca, Seifi, Egan, and Gonzalez Franco. Locomotion is an action we perform every day. The choice of locomotion in VR has different constraints than in real life, and it only takes an online search to realize that there are many more possibilities for locomotion in VR than in real life. In our review, we found a large gap between citable work and actual implementation on VR titles. So the motivation for this work has been to collect all possibilities of locomotion in VR. This was an ambitious but necessary feat to the advancement of locomotion in VR. We reviewed hundreds of games and social media posts, and we found out that locomotion is a field of continuous growth. Therefore, we decided to go beyond creating a static database and instead, we built an interactive tool that can not only be explored, but that can also grow. I will now present the process that allows us to build this database, the metric we use to describe the techniques, the validation of this metric, and the tools we created to crowdsource and automatize the database, allowing direct contribution from the VR community. First, we wanted to select the set of quantifiable attributes with which we can describe and discriminate the locomotion techniques. We looked at taxonomy and we found some ambiguity and partial overlaps. So for some attributes, we expanded the scope of the description or we extrapolated the concept. For other attributes, we simply combined them into a single one. In the end, we incorporated the majority of attributes found in the literature, most of which can be traced directly to taxonomies. But as all the attributes were obtained from academic work, we introduced video game and accessibility attributes to discriminate the potential user base. Overall, we have a set of 20 quantifiable attributes, which are split between implementation and UX. With these values, we could perform data analysis on the locomotion techniques. For example, we perform a multidimensional scaling analysis and a cluster analysis. The two-dimensional reduction of the space of attributes and the cluster created regularities that we ascribe to a set of general categories, which we also define as an attribute. The similarity between categories can be further reduced to a single dimension, as shown here. To validate these results, we compared the similarity between locomotion techniques computed as the distance in attribute space to the judgments of similarity between locomotion techniques provided by a panel of experts. We found that the similarity matrices have very similar patterns, and in fact, the values correlate. This shows that the value of similarity between locomotion can be produced automatically from the attributes. To also define the category attributes, without the intervention of experts, we perform a symbolic regression analysis on the locomotion techniques values. Separate models can be employed in this symbolic regression, and most of them show that accessibility, direction of movement, and nausea are important factors in defining the value of category. Using the symbolic regression, we can predict the category value from the attribute value with 85% accuracy. So we have created the most extensive open source database of locomotion techniques to date. And we proposed a metric to help analyze the space of possibility, which is based on a similarity score derived from attributes. We provide a tool to enable efficient access and exploratory data analysis by the community. Such tool and all the data is made available online at locomotionvault.github.io. The interface allows to filter and navigate the locomotion techniques, visualizing their attributes, reference to scientific work, popular software that employs them, videos, their category, and of course, the pattern of similarity. Because locomotion techniques are invented continuously, we included tools that allow the community to contribute by adding or modifying entries in the database. We are working to further improve Locomotion Vault through input from the VR community, and we encourage volunteers and developers to contribute directly or to contact us. Thank you very much.